other nominee for president has done for decades. You can look at 40 years of my tax returns. I think we need a law that says if you become the nominee of the major party, you have to release your tax returns. Now, now a, a lot of us were wondering, what is he hiding? It must be really terrible. Well, the New York Times has discovered at least part of the answer. Back in the 1990s, Trump apparently lost a billion dollars in a single year on bad investments and failing casinos. Now, how anybody can lose a dollar, let alone a billion dollars, in the casino industry is kind of beyond me, right? And it, it's just hard to figure. But as a result, it doesn't look like he paid a dime of federal income tax for almost two decades. Now, while millions of American families, including mine and yours, were working hard, paying our fair share, it seems he was contributing nothing to our nation. He was using his political connections to collect hundreds of millions of dollars in government subsidies and extra tax breaks for his companies. In other words, Trump was taking from America with both hands and leaving the rest of us with the bill. Now, he says that he's the one who can fix things, but that is like letting the fox guard the hen house, right? <laughs> and here's what I really am just stunned by. I get stunned every day in this campaign, but here's one of the many things that I'm stunned by. He has put forth a tax plan that would cut his own taxes even more. It would be like, you're playing, paying zero? You expect us to pay you to stay in business, all the rest of us in America? He'd open the loopholes even wider, and according to a new independent study, in the debate, he said it was smart to avoid paying taxes. Yesterday, his campaign was bragging, it makes him a genius. Here's my question, what kind of genius loses a billion dollars in a single year? This is Trump to a T. He's taken corporate excess and made a business model out of it. He abuses his power, games the system, puts his own interests ahead of the country's. It's Trump first and everyone else last.